Hello, 8th grade students, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. As you all know that we are still talking about objects in the solar system, and specifically we are talking about the phases of the moon. We said there are four main shapes of the moon, the full moon, new moon, crescent, and gibbous. We also talked about the two sides of the moon. It's either light colored or dark colored and we talked about the motion of the moon and we said that the moon orbits the earth and we discussed thoroughly the eight phases of the moon and when do we see them how does the amount of sunlight affect the phases of the moon we discussed also that when we see less of the moon, it is called waning, and if we see more of the moon, it is called waxing. We thoroughly discussed the following diagram that shows the eight phases of the moon and how does the direct sunlight or the seasons and the day affect the phases. For this week, we are going to talk about if there's an object that comes between the sun and another object that causes a shadow, we call this an eclipse. There are two types of eclipses, either solar or lunar eclipses. From the name solar, it means something that it shows more of the sun. Lunar, it shows less of the sun and more of the moon. We are going to discuss when do these eclipses usually happen and what are the most months or that the shadow uh, misses the other object and we are going to discuss two vocabulary terms umbra which is a total solar eclipse or penumbra which is a partially blocked um, sun eclipse and then we are also going to discuss tides which are the rise and the fall of ocean water and when does it usually happen? What does gravity have to do with tides? How long does the tide last? We're going to discuss more how the moon and the sun have an effect on the ocean tides. Also, there are two types of tides. The spring tide, where there is a difference between consecutive low and high tides, or neap tides, where there is more of a pulling in different directions, we call them as neap tides. So, also we are all going to watch a lot of videos, do a lot of interactivities, and as usual, assess ourselves by doing the quizzes that are an online uh, website. And that is it for this week. Thank you so much, 8th grade. If you have any questions, you are always welcome to ask me. Thank you.